Hi guys and welcome to my channel, Plant Based Sweetheart. My name is Mary. So I'm back with another Middle Eastern recipe. I've been enjoying them so much. I've been solutionizing them, that's what I'm gonna call it. One of my favorite childhood dishes was dolma. I thought why not solutionize it because if you haven't had Middle Eastern food then you don't know that we use a lot of oil. There's a lot of oily dishes and it's, it's something I've been missing. Like I miss having dolma and so many other foods that I want to solutionize. I thought why not try to make them oil free and see how they come out and share them with you guys so that you guys can taste them. I mean they're delicious foods and the great thing is that the recipe is basically the same recipe. The only thing I switched out was the oil. And grape leaves and dolma can be made with meat or without, but obviously we are plant-based here. We don't eat meat. For the plant-based version, it's the same recipe minus the oil. So that's awesome. So you're getting your mama's favorite dish minus the oil. So now we're gonna get into what you need for this recipe. Now that I've showed you guys all the ingredients, let's get to cooking. Once my pot was high, I had it on medium high. I added the onions and made sure they were cooked until they were translucent. And if you found that your onions were sticking, then add a little bit of water at a time. You don't want to add too much. And once they are translucent, you are ready for the next step. So next I added the tomato paste and red pepper paste and made sure I mixed it up until it was well incorporated. And then I added the rice and mixed again until everything was well incorporated once again. Then I added the dried mint and the allspice. After that, I also added the parsley. After everything was well incorporated, I added the lemon juice. And once again, I made sure to stir and incorporate the lemon juice. Next, I added the garlic. And you don't really want to cook the garlic. You want it to kind of stay raw. For that reason, you do this last and then you turn the heat off and let the rice cool off for about 15 to 20 minutes. So now that we've cooked the filling, we are ready to stuff our bell peppers. And I've also let this cool off for a good 15 minutes so it's not piping hot. And I'm not pressing really hard on it because I guess while they cook, they can possibly come out. So I'm not gonna like pack it in there. This is what it looks like. And then I'm gonna put the lid on top and I'm gonna continue this step until they are all filled. Okay, so now we are going to stuff our zucchini. That's how it looks. All right, so now I am placing them inside my pot. So the next step is I'm going to add two cups of water with a little bit of salt and tomato paste, as well as some lemon, one whole lemon. And then I'm going to put it on the stove and I'll show you the next step after that. 
I forgot to mention you're going to need two cups of water and one tablespoon of tomato paste. Also, you're going to add some salt, and if you are salt-free, then skip that. And then you're going to add the lemon juice as well. So after you've added the mixture, you're going to add a plate over, and the plate helps keep the stuffing inside the bell peppers. And you're going to put a timer for 10 minutes. You're going to put the heat on medium-high, and for 10 minutes, it's going to come to a boil and once that's happened, then you are going to lower the temp to medium low, and then you're going to cover it for an hour. So it's been an hour and the dolma is ready. Now, if you weren't going to serve this, you can definitely eat it straight right when it's ready. But if you are planning to plate this, I would wait an hour to two, because if it is too soft, it could fall apart. By letting it cool off a little bit for about an hour or two, it, you will have a better chance of it being plated and not falling apart. Hey guys, so we're back and they are well cooked and ready to eat. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, look at that. And since I didn't overstuff them and pack them, they did not come out. They stayed inside. Good job. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I hope you guys make it. And if you do, please tag me on Instagram at Plant Based Sweetheart or comment down below and let me know what you think. And if you really enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe, like, share, and hit the bell for further notifications because I do have plenty more yummy, delicious recipes coming your way.